living in Western culture, in the Christian culture, we're dispossessed of our heritage. Why do you have to pay to be alive? I was born here. What are we going to do? If I can't, well, if you go and stand in the ocean or something. Well, what's this all about? I was born here. What do I have to pay to be here? Where else am I supposed to go? We're going to pay to be there too. What's this? It's paper. What about the earth? What about me? What about life? What is this corporate system that comes from the Vatican based on Christianity? You know, Judaic money system. What is this? This is from God? Really? This is what it's all about? Reduce the whole human experience to commerce and have one group of chosen people? Is that what God does? I'm God, I create all, I love you all, but these guys are special. Okay? Doesn't really work, doesn't really work. So where does it all come from? Well, this, this, this pact was made by God, Yahweh, in the Bible, with Abraham for the land of, e of Israel. What Abraham didn't understand was that he was already part of Israel. He was already part of the earth. It was his heritage. It was his. It didn't matter. He can't own it. It's the earth. You're only here for a little while. The earth owns you. You don't own the earth. You're a custodian of the earth while you're here to make sure it's, it's, it's kept and it follows the correct path, the correct evolutionary spirit of humanity. The evolutionary spirit being the creative spirit of humanity. Nurture humankind with the real stories of life, the real stories of creation, and nurture the human creative spirit so that we can be all that we can be. That's what the experience is about. That was the Gnostic, Gnostic way, right? So then this Yahweh comes on the scene, according to these books. This Yahweh comes on the scene, makes this pact with Abraham, promises him Israel, effectively dispossessing Abraham of his heritage, which was the earth. Then they created this whole Talmudic system, which then went out and dispossessed everybody else. How do you, how do you own the earth that nobody can own? You trick people into believing that they own part of the earth. You enslave them to a corporate monetary system designed to implode and transfer all of that perceived ownership into the hands of those who issue the paper. That's how you do it. That's what we've got. And it's a psychopathic system. And it's created parameters that we call the legal system to protect itself. There is no way to fix the problem operating within those parameters. The main tool this system has done, has used, is to infect people's minds with these three pathogens, the economic pathogen, the social pathogen, and the religious pathogen. That's how it works, folks. The only way to deal with this problem is to have a united community. The only way to have a united community is to know who you are to know what you are, to know that everything everybody has done has been a result of this system. They're not operating on an even playing field. No one is operating on an even playing field. Even the people that are operating within the system, they're focused, they're in a compartment. Scott was an executive in a compartment. The whole job, wasn't it, was about making that compartment more efficient. How do you make it more efficient? You maximise profits, you use less workforce, you expel more of humankind, you make the system more efficient. Because you're in that mindset, you're in left brain. You've got this economic pathogen, you've got to collect more money. The thing about collecting money is once you start collecting it, you go, well, I thought I was going to need this much, but now I've got that, I think I'm going to need this much. It affects the mind. As soon as you've got some, you want more. Well, how much can I get of this stuff? You know, Because you believe it breeds security, but it doesn't. It's not real. Usually you get the stuff at the expense of somebody else. You just think division. We reach these social rungs. We start pandering to those above us because we think if the rung ever falls out from me the way it did with them, if I'm nice to this guy, he might look after me. Why would we think that? We didn't. You know, the system is designed to, to, to put you in this mindset. And it's like the whole world's got Stockholm Syndrome. You look what happens when the queen comes to visit. This woman, this slave trader, this corrupt slave trader with the blood of millions of people on her hands, who owns a third of the world and trillions of dollars, while well, there's starving people everywhere, comes here 
And we all go, oh my God, isn't she wonderful? No, she's a slave trader. And you've all got Stockholm Syndrome. 